In this newly minted city of champions, the two biggest college basketball programs have been chumps. The Sunday announcement of this year's NCAA tournament brackets was a solemn reminder of all those years the locals have gone bust. The last time a college from Los Angeles won an NCAA Division I national championship, the current players on the UCLA and USC rosters had yet to be born. The last time a college from Los Angeles reached the Final Four, the semifinal game featured Kevin Love and Russell Westbrook against a team led by Derrick Rose. The last time a college from Los Angeles made the Sweet 16, Lonzo Ball was staring down Bam Adebayo and De'Aaron Fox. It's been 26 years since a title, 13 years since a Final Four, 4 years since a Sweet 16. For a city inhabited by the school with the most NCAA basketball titles, UCLA has won 11, can you believe it? The drought is as staggering as it is embarrassing. This March could be, and should be, different. Neither UCLA nor USC seemingly has a real shot at a national title, but both have been placed on paths that could lead them to the tournament's second weekend, where a taste of the Sweet 16 would be a delicious triumph for both. It's about time. If not now, when? In a pandemic-plagued season filled with abrupt cancellations and strange blowouts and Oregon State winning the Pac-12 tournament, why can't even the flawed locals do some serious dancing? Mick Cronin, in his first tournament as UCLA's coach, has reached the Sweet 16 just once in 11 trips. It says here that in the next eight days, he will coach his team past the likes of Tom Izzo and Shaka Smart, and that one question mark on his resume will be answered. This is a step forward for us, it's well documented, all the stuff this group's been through with players and injuries, but we need to play, we need this experience, so that's probably the thing I'm most happy about," Cronin said Sunday afternoon. Andy Enfield of USC has one Sweet 16 appearance in three tournaments as a coach, and the Trojans haven't made it that far in 14 years, but they've rarely had a team this gifted and a tournament schedule this favorable. With a well-calibrated March lineup and winnable games in the first two rounds, there are few excuses for an early exit. I think we can do something special, USC guard Taj Eady said. Both teams can, starting Thursday night when UCLA faces Michigan State in a play-in game disguised by the NCAA as something called the First Four. When I saw it, I was like, man, that's a Hecuba play-in game, the Bruins' Cody Riley said. The Spartans' Tom Izzo is known as one of the best coaches in tournament history with one title and seven Final Fours. Cronin said that in his interview for the Bruins' job, he told then-athletic director Dan Guerrero that, if I could do half of what Tom Izzo's done at Michigan State, then that's my goal at UCLA. But Izzo rarely has had a team this shaky.